Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get access to um, a Brazilian proxy. Um, that is a proxy server that's based in Brazil. Uh, why would you want one of these? Um, well, basically people use proxies to hide their real location and present a different IP address. So, for instance, if you wanted to watch a a Brazilian TV site and it only allowed access to people from Brazil, which there are a couple, um, you'd need a Brazilian IP address. If you're not in Brazil, the only way to get one is to use either a proxy or something called a VPN server. Okay, well let me show you. I'm in um, the UK at the moment, so I've got a British IP address and everything I do online is sort of tailored to um, British web results. Um, I go to a, the Amazon site and I'll get the Amazon.co.uk. I go to eBay. I've got the British eBay. Um, all these websites, nearly all the websites nowadays, the big ones, look up your IP address when you connect and then let you access whatever you want. Um, quite often it's used to block access, so um, this is why people often want a, a Brazilian IP address. Um, okay, well I'm going to show you how you can get one. Okay. Um, Right, what I'm going to do is close down this browser and I'm going to show you a tool I use called Overplay. Oops. Um, Overplay is a, um, a little tool that sits in my taskbar. Um, it's a subscription service, but it gives me access to hundreds of um, proxy servers all over the, um, well, proxy and VPN servers all over the world. You can see if I scroll down the list, you can see them from Albania, Andorra, Argentina. <coughs> Excuse me. Bahamas, Belarus, and here we should have Brazilian. Okay, so if I want to connect to a, a Brazilian proxy server, I just click on the button, select connect. Overplay will then go and connect to the Brazilian server. Uh, authenticate, it needs my username and password. It's assigning the IP address here, and in a second, I'll basically look as though I'm. Um, browsing from Rio de Janeiro. Um, see, it's connected now. If I minimize this, this is a VPN server. It's called a virtual private network. At the moment, um, everything will go down um, this little tunnel between my PC and the Brazilian overplay, uh, the overplay server in Brazil. Um, it's all encrypted, so nobody can uh, see any um, details of my browsing or emails or messages or anything like that. And Going on from that, everybody will think, will not see my location or my actual real IP address. They'll just see this one from the Overplay Brazilian server. Let me just show you now. Um, okay, now I'll go to Google. See, Google has looked up where I am and it's given me the Brazilian um, version of Google instead, google.br, okay? Um, that's because Google looked up my IP address it now thinks it's in um, Brazil, and therefore I will get a Brazilian IP address. If I go to this site here, that basically looks up your IP address and tells you where you are. Uh, it's called infosniper.net. Um, we look here, and um, it's not actually Rio de Janeiro. You can see um, uh, the server is, is um, located in a place called Patos in um, Brazil. Okay, so that's where I look from. Whatever website I go to, they will see the IP address of this server. So if you don't want people seeing your PC address or where you are or logging details of what you do online, something like this is great. You wouldn't necessarily use a Brazilian server unless you had a specific reason. You wanted to watch some Brazilian-only stuff. Uh, there's a few games and stuff in um, Brazil that are Brazilian-only. Um, you can sometimes buy products cheaper. Um, there's a game site called Steam that sells games. Um, they're much cheaper if you buy them in if you're based in South America, for instance. Doesn't seem very fair, but that's how their business model is set up. Um, so if you connect, they'll get you'll get different prices. You'll get <coughs> Brazilian versions of uh, that of the costs. So um, which can be quite substantially different. Um, if you just wanted to hide your IP address you'd, and you didn't really care about the country, you'd be better to pick one of um, Overplay's faster servers, okay? So 
generally the ones that are nearer to you geographically will be much quicker so i'm in britain so somewhere like france will be really fast see the french um, german ones are really fast if you move over to australia they, they're a bit slower um overplay is a brilliant program it just sits in your taskbar and you connect to which country you want works for the apple mac as well there's a, a mac version um which you can which you can use it's great for using things like um accessing sites that you can't normally access i watch hulu which is in the states normally it's blocked for me but uh, i just connect to um uh overplay's um american servers one of its american servers pick the fastest one and i can watch hulu fine you might use it if you're outside the uk to watch bbc iplayer or something like that okay well i'll finish the video there now um i hope you've enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching goodbye